Pleasure. Joining me now, just coming back from the border, is Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee. Happy New Year, Senator Blackburn. And you had a different experience down by the border, and you're drawing different conclusions. Why don't you tell us about what you saw to begin things? Uh, yes, indeed. We were drawing different conclusions because we did not see the sanitized version. We got the unvarnished truth. And we got that unvarnished truth from Border Patrol, from Texas DPS, from Texas military, from local mayors, and also from sheriffs, and from prosecutors, DAs, ranchers, business owners, who said, how long can this possibly continue? Larry, you know, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris should have joined me and Senator Hyde-Smith and Senator Britt, they're in Eagle Pass, and watch these migrants cross that river and talk to people that are affected by that. I, I talked with one woman who had survived the sex trafficking, raped 400 times, mm. and she was saved from all of that. And to hear their stories of what is happening on that border, to hear some of the migrants say, the border is open. Joe Biden said so. This is something that is a national security issue. It is a humanitarian issue for these ranchers and businesses that are there on the border. It is indeed an economic issue. And the humanitarian issue extends into every county, every city, every state in this country because of the drugs, the gangs, the crime that is infiltrating our communities and is actually coming across that southern border. A couple of points, Senator Blackburn. One of those, just briefly, this crazy app that was unveiled by DHS Secretary Mallorca, where you can somehow make a reservation through some point of entry, yeah. and then they'll accept your reservation, and then they let you in. Uh, now, you know, coming across the border illegally should not be as easy as making a restaurant reservation, for heaven's sakes, but that's what this looks like. And I don't understand even how this is legal, yeah, for sure. example. But ha this doesn't mean less. This means more. This doesn't mean deport. This means accommodate. Larry, what the president and his administration are trying to do is, number one, they are trying to make illegal legal. Right. And they think if they say, okay, use this app, and then that is going to make you legal, that that is a way to circumvent the laws that are on the books. Bear in mind, immigration law in this country has basically not changed since 96. You did not see Bill Clinton, George Bush, Barack Obama, or Donald Trump have these kind of issues at the southern border. What has changed is this administration has a policy of make the border open. And the cartels are the ones that are making money. They're the ones running that southern side of the border. They're there in Mexico. You do not cross that border without paying the cartel. And that is what we heard repeatedly. The cartels are in charge. They are brutalizing people. They are physically, mentally, emotionally, sexually abusing men, women, children. This is something that has to stop. Is anybody doing anything? I mean, it's funny. Uh, Trump <coughs> put out a circular. It's very interesting. Trump said the cartels, the Mexican cartels wage war against America. But why isn't America waging war against the Mexican cartels? I take it Mexico doesn't wage war against the Mexican cartels. I guess my question, maybe it's a naive question, but does anybody try to do anything with respect to waging war at the cartels? Stop them? Arrest them? Put them away? There is beginning to be conversation about increasing penalties against the cartels. Many of them are working on U.S. soil right now in sanctuary cities. It is appropriate that we stiffen those penalties. These drug dealers, these sex traffickers ought to be locked up. 
And it is important also to look at how we deal with the cartels at that border. You know, they ridicule our military when they're in the river, patrolling the river. They will taunt our border patrol that is over on the U.S. side. And their coyotes are so bold, they will get in the Rio Grande, they will lead a group of people across the river. If the the military even comes close to them or the border patrol comes cross, close to them, it is if they're taunting them, saying, you can't do anything about me. People are tired of this. People want to see this country secure. They want to see that border secure. People that own property, ranchers, farmers that are in that area want to be able to raise that livestock, to raise those crops, to not have those that are illegally in the country running through those farms. And it is so important that we realize in addition to the economic issues, the humanitarian issues, you've got the national security issues. The first quarter of 2023, fiscal year 2023, Border Patrol apprehended, get this, 143 convicted criminals that were, had been, they had served their time, they were convicted, served their time, sent back out of the country. Now they're trying to come back in the country and they were apprehended. But you have to look at the number of gotaways, the known and unknown gotaways. These are the really bad guys. They are trying to, trying to evade apprehension. They go where the border patrol is not, and the cartels are big business. Mm. They are very sophisticated. Mm. They're making about $15 billion a year trafficking human beings. They know where the border, border patrol is not, so the drug smugglers, the human smugglers, they send that direction away from the border patrol so that they can get them in the country undetected. Then they're using social media mm. to recruit drivers mm. to come pick them up mm. on the highways in the places and drive them into the interior of the country. I mean, this I think is big business, and we have to stand against these cartels. I mean, I think this this uh, security document, so-called diversity, equity, and inclusion, yes. was number one. Climate change, number two. I mean, I, you know, it's a joke. It's a farce, Senator. Just in the last few moments, uh, if you could wave a magic wand, what would you have this country do to win the war on the border? First of all, what the Border Patrol says is they have to have some kind of physical barrier. Second thing, they say better technology mm. so that they can keep pace with what the cartels are doing. The third thing is end catch and release. Mm. Next, be sure that you keep Title 42 and then put in place remain in Mexico. Yep. There you have it. Senator Blackburn. You Thank you. I mean, that's great stuff. It's a great rundown. I'm glad you're back safe from the border. As I said, Happy New Year. Thank you, ma'am.